Hi guys. Well, I'm back again today. And today though, I'm going to do a little bit of a... Well, I get upset. And I know people means well, okay? So, I get a couple of uh, messages being very concerned about my dogs and the condition that they live in. Well, if you have an indoor dog, do you let him out to do his business? Do you walk him? I do. If you're a nomad and you're camping around and you're going to different places, you're not allowed to have your dog loose. It is not supposed to be loose. And those that leave it loose, I think, are very irresponsible because anything could happen to your dog or your dog could do something to some other dog or a person. So, you know, I don't think people have to worry if I have to tie my dog up to a tree, which rarely it is a tree, but it's always right nearby. Most of the time, I tie him right to my van. And no, I'm not going to take off with him tied to the van. Don't worry about that. But, <laughs> you know, you're not allowed to have your dog loose and running around. Those are rules of the parks where you go. Those are rules of the national forests. Those are rules basically everywhere. Your dog must be contained. Your dog must be on a leash, somehow contained. Those that worry about my dog being tied to a tree, really? Were you there to see how long he was there? Uh, were you there to realize that <laughs> no, you weren't, because I'm outside with my dog 90% of the time. And when I'm not outside with them, normally I'm inside with them. My dogs are trained to be indoor animals, not outdoor animals. My dogs are healthy. I put their health before my own. My dogs never go hungry because I... I will make sure they eat before I eat. Medical, I'll make sure they have what they need before I go to the doctors myself. <laughs> so, you know, take care of your own animals. Worry about your own because mine are healthy and mine are well. And mine, they like their lifestyle because they've always lived it. Just like somebody who has a door, dog outside all the time, just running loose. That's the lifestyle they're used to. Mine are used to being homebodies, just like me. Just like me. So, please, I know your concern is sincere. I know. But it's irritating because you all don't know me and you don't know how I take care of my animals and if you're going to criticize look in the mirror first look in the mirror look at your own life look at your own pets if you have pets and pet lovers don't mean just because you have one animal pet lovers is loving all animals all 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 animals I've had deers for pets. I have had raccoons. I had an armadillo and a possum for pets. I had a fox for pets. I've had a hawk for pets. Hey, I love all animals. And I will treat all animals better than I will treat a human sometimes. Because they deserve it. And most of them don't get the love and concern and care. So... Please, keep that kind of criticism to yourself because I don't want to hear it. And if I continue to hear it without you having any knowledge, personal knowledge about how I take care of mine and how they live, you know, it's so easy. A button is so easy. Whoop. Bye. 
So, like I said earlier, I know that you all mean well. I know. But you don't know me. You don't know my animals. My three little dogs, they're old. They'd rather be inside sleeping most of the time unless they want to get up and go outside and go to the bathroom or eat. They'd rather be sleeping because they're 12 and 13 years old. You know, they're old dogs. And Sassy, I mean, Cookie, she's a rambunctious little stinker. She really is, but she's learning. But she's learning with love. And she's learning with discipline that is not beating a dog up to teach it a lesson like I've seen. So, oh, well, let me beat him up and he'll never do it again. No, mine are not disciplined like that. And I always let mine know that no matter what wrong thing they did, I love them. And I talk to them. They're my babies. All right, enough for my rave, my rent, whatever. But it just upsets me that people don't know me and assume certain things because they see one video that says one thing and another video says another. Well, you've got to follow my <laughs> travels and realize that some of the things that I have to do, I don't do to be cruel to my animals. I do to protect my animals. Do I leave them tied up all the time? No. And besides, the little ones don't get tied up. <laughs> they get on a leash and walk, but they don't get tied up. But Cookie is young and energetic, and she likes to play. So I let her play for a while, and then she's ready to come back in because she doesn't like to stay outside. If I'm not out there, she don't want to be out there. She wants to be with me. That was one of the problems I had with her. She had, uh, uh, what I can't think of the name, but, you know, she she's always travels with me. Even when I go shopping, she's the one that's always with me. And anxiety, I think it's called, something like that. Anyway, she just can't stand it if I'm not around. And, yeah, she did what she did yesterday. I understood why she did it. Oh, no, I did not like it. I did not like it. I mean, when you have a dog eat a hole in your mattress, eat your sheets, eat your blankets, eat your pillow, oh, Lord, no, you're not going to be happy with them. And she knew I wasn't going to be happy. But she also knows that even though I disciplined her, I put her in my arms and I said, I love you. You did the wrong thing, but you're not a bad girl. You just did something very wrong. And we're not going to do it again, now are we? Put her in a crate? <laughs> that would be fun. I mean, my neighbors would be telling me to leave. Y'all don't know Cookie. Cookie, when we were fishing, <laughs> Cookie could see us because I had her tied so that she could watch us outside, and I just went down the hill into where the water was, right, to go fishing. <laughs> she howled. She cried. She made all kinds of noises, even seeing me because I wasn't right there by her. So, <laughs> if I left her, I even thought about leaving her in the van yesterday because we went in Noah's car and we weren't going to be gone very long. And I thought about putting her in the van because basically it's empty. But she would have howled and she would have screamed and she would have barked and she would have whined. <laughs> and she cries a lot. She's a crier. So I thought, well, you'll be with the others. It will be fine. You won't be making all that howling noise. Ah, uh, no, maybe not. But she sure got even that I didn't take her with me. So when we go out again, she will definitely be with me. She will go in my van. I will not go in Noah's car, but I will go in my van because she's got to be with me. Duh! What can I say? <laughs> anyway, guys, I once again, I appreciate your concern, but uh, you need not be concerned. I take care of my own. Peace, love, hugs. Don't forget to like, share, comment, 
and subscribe. Bye.